Okay, we're still doing chores here. And we've been abandoned by Abigail. That's always fun. It's a damn fence. fences need to be fixed. My God. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Let's see, we've gone with my classic Arthur, Arthur Morgan beard. This looks weird on Sean, though. And that's a move. Hey, buddy! Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Mm -hmm. Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. Such a nice guy. You'll get her back.
better. So much better. I don't want... Nobody gives shit about the cattle, man. Just want the map. Hmm. Going to Blackwater or Meat City. I'm going to City first, because... Right now... Hmm. Okay, it's for reference. Oh, I've got a Blackwater, I can just take the uh, coach, because we actually did go to Blackwater and all of us are there. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too Big old world sure got me running around. I heard a voice that said, Just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone.
And I've been living too long Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone Cruel, cruel world, I'm Oh my god, we're still... Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I, can I help? Yeah. Come on in. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Dude, I thought I was going to rob him. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> well, don't don't sound too like promising that. when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Okay. Um, I think sure feel the same to me. 
You know, I really wish I'd come into Blackwater when I saw Arthur, just to check it out and see how it changed. But that whole dead or alive thing. An Englishman called Gavin. Oh my god. What a sight. It's been Good morning. I'm I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin for Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't um I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Kevin! Good luck. Kevin! Oh, I am so oh, worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Hello there. Where are you? I wish Gavin was Where real. are you? Jesus, that's depressing. Alright, let's get a newspaper. Never read any of these damn things, though. Ah, what do you want now? This is really worrying. I'll take one. Well, see you for the next one. It's essential. Let's see. Why do I have Mary's ring? Or, frankly, why do I have, like, any of these things? What, did we go back and, like, just raid Arthur's corpse? Come on, lady. Blackwater, Blackwater, step right All right, stranger. Yeah, this lad is just like. Wait, let's see. So if I go this way, do I end up in Mexico? Because I know. I think if we take this road. You know what? We're going on a little detour. I want to see how far out this road goes. Wait a second. I remember this area from the first game. It was the rink. The rink of the Serendipity is somewhere. Or will be. Or something like that. Holy oh, shit. Okay, Missy. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is McF My God. Easy. What you want? Keep at it, partner. You're doing a great job. So long. Where's Ben McFarland? Disgustingly nostalgic. 
that's an armadillo. It, there's no way the game's gonna go that far out. This game isn't gonna make all of them an armadillo. <laughs> or whatever's left of armadillo. Something caught fire here. To see you're a man of your word, to us at least. Amigos míos, sabía que no me dejarían pudrirme aquí. Such a happy reunion. Look, I should like my fun, gentlemen. That's the problem, you see. We only pay persons who will continue to be useful. So we had bark. <laughs> Armadillo. Plague! We got plague in town! Plague back in town! Howdy, mister. Hey, Frank. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago it was the Scarlet Fever. Then it was the Desert Plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. Whole town's got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. Thank you. How's that dog looking? Ooh. I'm not ready. My God, I can. What can I get you? Give me something to drink. Guys, I'm in fucking armadillo. One walk through this ghost town, and I'd need a drink too. Beer and whiskey's about the only thing left that's safe to drink in this town. I should warn you, I'm sick, but. So is pretty much everyone else around here. Apart from that son of a bitch who runs the general store. That might be the cruelest irony of them all. Cholera's a horrible business, mister. I wouldn't stay around here any longer than you need to. Especially if you got loved ones expecting you home. Anyway, sorry to be a misery, friend. This is insane. They put... Oh my god, I cannot Armadilla believe it. Armadillo is sick again! Place is sick! Hear me All kinds of ammunition on the other side of the shop. Another knickknacks on the wall next to it. I don't remember what they all are. Have a look for yourself or in the catalog here. I keep this around for my literate clients. Enjoy. Okay. Well, we took all of Arthur's belongings. All right, let me know if you need me to read something to you, though. It's like two grand. Okay. So. We're gonna keep going west. Hear me, hear me now! Whole town has got sickness. Leave town if you can. Leave town if you can! Yeah, I'll do the first time. Oh my god. 
Whoops. That's what I get for looking at the minimap. Come on, man. This is insane. They put tumbleweed in the game. Cap Tooth Ridge, Armadillo, McFarland's Ranch. I'm assuming Thief's Landing is still here. Looks like it was on the map. Hmm. I think that's Fort Mercer. Saddle. You're not one of us, then you don't belong here. Huh, okay. I think I know how that ends. Easy! <sighs> Mercer Station. Armadillo. Doesn't look like I can get back down in Mexico. I'm not upset about that, though. I didn't think they would put this whole thing back in here. Let up. Nope. For nostalgia purposes. Let's let's do this. Just just strictly for nostalgia. Shots are coming from. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Just wait till my Mexican buddy get on. How was that? Where's that coming from? Ah, there we go. Was that easy in the game? I'm sorry, the other game. Yo, this is awesome. I mean, they put this. I can't believe they. They programmed this all back into the game. Because, yeah, right outside there in the front door. Is where the first game starts. That is insane. Wow.
Oh wow, so they end up building like everything. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Hmm. Huh. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Okay. We good? Yeah, we good. They were, they were, if the bank asks, they were dead when I got there. Very dead. you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well I got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price isn't too great I think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean I was listening to her okay well sign here and here You're putting your name on bank loans. Not hard for the Pinkertons to track your dumb ass down. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Okay. Evidently. Uh, have a never little change, pity, Uncle. will you? Never huh? change. Come on, then. All right. <laughs> uh, you got a horse? Follow me. All right, sir. West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? 
I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. <laughs> Is Abigail there? That's Mayor? true. No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Uh, about that. About that. <laughs> Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. I'm going. I can still go to Sadie. Whew. Wait, that's the general store. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she tell it anything? Uh, to? Enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone! Or what? Ah! Oh my what? god! Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton? That you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? You know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, 
It's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Guy on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now yeah, we came back. Didn't <laughs> strike it rich, as you can see. <laughs> but you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting the scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Ah, the nostalgia. Kirk, banker, bald, 40. Okay. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Worthless. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store, or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Okay. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. What now? Wait, what? Easy enough. Wait, no, I didn't hear what you said. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? 
He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just... <laughs> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Shady, the mini map said so. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Mr. Kirk, real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She, uh, ah, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right. You're a good filly. Ah, that works. Crazy mother... 